What if I told you that weight loss drugs everybody's talking about might be doing something shocking to your body that has nothing to do with the number on your scale? You've heard of success stories, celebrities dropping dramatic amounts of weight. Weight loss. Weight loss. Easy weight loss. Miracle diet drug. Miracle weight loss drug. But here's what nobody is talking about. These drugs aren't just shrinking waistlines. They're literally rewiring your brain, protecting your heart, and potentially protecting and preventing diseases that you never even knew you were at risk for. So let me start with the basics, because understanding what these medications actually do will blow your mind. When we talk about Ozempic, Wegovy, or semiglutide, we're discussing a class of drugs, GLP-1 receptor agonists. Think of them as master manipulators of your body's natural systems in the best possible way. Your body naturally produces a hormone called GLP-1 in your intestines and brain. This hormone is like your internal traffic controller, managing blood sugar levels, controlling how fast food moves through your stomach, Stomach and directly communicating with your brain about hunger and fullness. But here's the problem. Natural GLP-1s only last about two minutes in your bloodstream before it breaks down. Scientists have figured out a way to create synthetic versions that stick around for an entire week. Imagine the difference between a flickering candle and a powerful floodlight. That's what we're dealing with here. These medications don't just mimic your natural hormone, they supercharge it beyond anything your own body can do on its own. The weight loss mechanism is fascinating and represents just the tip of the iceberg. When you inject a semiglutide, it slows down gastric emptying, meaning food sits in your stomach longer. You feel fuller faster and it stay satisfied longer. Simultaneously, it's sending a signal directly to your brain appetite control centers, essentially turning down the volume on your hunger signals. But here's where things get truly shocking. Recent research has uncovered benefits that extend far beyond weight management. These drugs appear to be reducing the risk of stroke, heart attacks in people with existing cardiovascular conditions. They're showing promise in treating addiction with studies suggesting they might help people overcome alcohol and substance abuse. Even more remarkable, there's emerging evidence that GLP-1 receptor agonists could protect against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. Scientists are discovering these medications might reduce inflammation throughout the body, protect brain cells from damage, even prevent certain types of seizures. Think about this for a moment. We're talking about a single medication that could simultaneously help you lose weight, protect your heart, reduce a addiction risk and potentially preserve your cognitive function as you age. It sounds too good to be true, which brings us to the reality check no one wants to discuss. Even powerful medication comes with trade-offs and GLP-1 receptor agonists are no exception. The most common side effect centered around your digestive system. We're talking about nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, and abdominal pain. Many people experience these symptoms, especially when starting the medication at increasing doses. They are usually short, acting for a week or two and then they disappear. But sometimes they linger on. So sometimes lowering the dose can help. And as a last resort, switching possible to another GLP-1 medication can be helpful. And there's a financial reality. These medications can cost over $1,000 monthly, even without insurance coverage. Even insurance co-pays can be substantial, making long-term use financially challenging for many people who need these. But here's the important consideration that no one's talking about. What happens when you stop taking these medications? For most people, the weight does come back. This isn't a character flaw or lack of willpower. It's simply how these drugs work. They're managing your appetite and metabolism while you're taking them. But those effects appear to discontinue when you stop taking the medication. Now, the literature consistently recommends combining these drugs with dietary changes and physical activity for maximum effectiveness. If you can combine them, 
with dietary changes and physical activity, weight strength training, then you could possibly wean off them and you won't get the weight back. But it does take effort and it does take a lifestyle change. If you're considering one of these treatments, have an honest conversation with your health care provider about your goals, your current health status, and your willingness to make concurrent lifestyle changes. Discuss the financial implication and long-term plan for medical use. The decision to use these medications 